Hello, I'm Andrew Fry, and in this demonstration, I want to show you how to actually start to manage Ski, having installed it and configured it properly in my previous demos. I've got focus on the computer section of Ski down here, and I'm looking at the computer groups on the top left in this tree here, and that gives me one pane of glass telling me how all my computers are performing. The top section is on servers, and then I have my client status underneath. I get health, updates and software, all of which is working okay, so we've just got a couple of problems with installations. On the right hand side I have my things that I can do, reports I can run, and I can get some extra training to learn how to make Ski better for my organisation down here. If I go back to server status here, notice I get an extra section on virtualization because Ski's realised that it's running on a virtual machine and we have now managing the physical host that these virtual machines are running on and that's been picked up here. You get the same icons as you would do in SCVMN or in the Hyper-V role in Server Manager. I can look at my individual servers by clicking on the appropriate node in the tree. If I look at my clients here I can see that everything's A-OK -okay here and when I focus on a particular virtual machine I can get an overall readout of what it looks like, IP addresses, dead handy if you want to get in a remote desktop in or connect to it in some other way, memory usage, disk usage, and I can even get graphs up on performance, for example CPU performance here, like so. If I go to servers, same thing applies. Notice when I click on the hot black server this is a physical machine. You can see that because it says Lenovo down here and I'm getting more information about assets and serial numbers and it also realizes that there are virtual machines running on here and it's giving me information about those as well. Notice it's gone red here where I'm nearly running out of space. I'm getting warnings up here which I might need to go and investigate later as well. Because we are running in a virtual machine environment we can get more information about what's going on there by clicking on this virtual machine tab. And this inherits a lot of the properties from System Center Virtual Machine Manager. Notice I've got a couple of machines that aren't running and they've got warnings against them because I haven't been able to turn those on and have Ski running at the same time to install the agents on them because I simply haven't got enough RAM on my laptop. If I click on a particular virtual machine, say the domain controller here, I can actually log into it and connect to it here, much as you can do in SCVMN or indeed in Server Manager. I can shut it down, turn it off, pause it, save it, and so on. So you can do absolutely everything you need in this one pane of glass to manage your virtual and physical machines. In my next demo, we'll have a look at monitoring. 